France's new president, Françoise Hollande, will be sworn in today for an expected five-year term. He is the first socialist leader since 1995 to occupy the Elysee Palace. As part of this ceremony, he will meet with the outgoing president, Nicolas Sarkozy, at the Elysee Palace in central Paris. The new leader has asked that the inauguration ceremony be kept as low-key as possible. The ceremony will be followed by the traditional process procession in an open-topped car along the Avenue des Champs-Élysées and the laying of the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier underneath the Arc de Triomphe. Later this afternoon, Mr. Hollande will hit the floor running as he heads to Berlin for dinner with Chancellor Merkel, who says she will welcome the new leader with open arms. As the Eurozone's two biggest economies and biggest contributors to its bailout funds, Germany and France are key decision makers over the strategy supposed to pull Europe out of the Eurozone crisis. Hollande has focused on economic growth as the central theme of his presidential campaign platform, believing that raising the employment rate effectively can promote economic development and reduce the financial deficit. I am Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the latest news on the Eurozone crisis and other stories on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.